Hey guys, it's Gretchen with Glow Mommy, and today I wanted to do a quick video. This is not going to be a packing video at all. This is just a comparison of these two bags. Um, so when I was on the Kara Sport website trying to figure out which size to go with, it was really hard for me to choose um, because it's just hard to know. I don't, I don't feel like there's any like side by side comparisons of the two, or even any comparisons or videos that show the features of these two bags. So this is the Kara Studio bag. This is the size small and this is the medium. There's not a huge um, difference in the size, but there are some differences in the features and obviously you can see the size difference. So here it is from the front. The medium is in the black nylon with gold hardware and the small is in the blush vaquetta with gold hardware. So from the front, they have all the same looks and features. Um, they both come with this little removable leather keychain. Um, that you can put your gym pass in if you want to. I'm actually using both of these as diaper bags. Um, so that is the little key chains here. They both have this locking mechanism zipper pull. So all you do is just twist it and unlock. It doesn't really have a way to like lock it with a actual lock of your own. And they both unzip all the way down to the bottom. They even wrap around partially. They'll meet in a V at the bottom here. And they've got really nice gussets on the side. Like so. So here's the front view of both of them. You can see how much taller the medium is than the small. Here is the side view. And then as far as outside pockets go, um, they have very similar layouts. Like I said, they both have these handles because they are the, the regular studio bag. They do have a studio too that is identical. It just does not come with these little handles that you can hold the bag like this. Um, and then on the back of the bag is where you're going to see the difference. So the medium bag has this pocket here that is really big. Um, it opens up this much, but the pocket goes the whole length of the bag here and it's just the whole base of this bag is the size of the pocket. So it's a really big pocket. And then it's got another pocket on this side that is a little bit smaller. Um, it goes to about here and it goes to the top and it goes almost to the bottom. So it's just a little bit smaller pocket on this side. And that is the only outside pockets that it has um, other than the whole front opening of the bag. Where with a small bag, it has a pocket right here that is good for like sticking your phone and stuff in. It's the same as the other one where it is the whole, where it is about the whole size of this base of the bag. So it's really nice and roomy. And then the other pocket that it does have is actually kind of behind the backpack straps at the top. And that zips open um, it goes around and down about a quarter of the way maybe and that is a really good pocket for putting a laptop in or even like a small MacBook. I know like a 12 or 13 inch MacBook would fit in here because it is the whole base of this pocket and it is nice and padded. So that is how this um, bag goes. So it has one pocket here. There's not a pocket on this side. Instead they've done it where the top opens up and you can just put things directly from the top. And I actually really like that feature. I think that it's really nice. I kind of wish that the medium had same thing instead of this pocket that opens here. I kind of wish that it opened from the top, but you'll see why um, because the medium bag does have like a laptop pocket on the inside. The small bag does not. This is its laptop pocket or iPad pocket is this pocket here. So they both do come with three straps. So you've got the two straps that you can put here. They are fully removable. Um, they come off really easily and they, they come off completely. So you can take these all the way off. I'm not going to do that right now though, but you can see that it attaches with its D rings here. And then there's a center ring that they both attach to at the top. They both come with little shoe bags or wet bags for your dirty clothes. And then they both have a third strap. Um, the other one is in the bag, but the third strap is so that you can hook it to 
a D-ring at the front here and the same D-ring here, and you can carry it as a duffel bag. So it's got three ways that you can carry it. You can carry it with a, as a duffel with this kind of messenger strap here. You can carry it with the handles here, kind of like a, a satchel, and then you can wear it as a backpack. And um, they both have this really pretty leather patch here that says Kara. It's embossed, or it's kind of stamped into the leather. Um, I think that's really pretty. It's not like a big shiny uh, nameplate like some bags have. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you the inside features of both bags. So in the small Kara Studio bag, um, you can see it's got these handles on the front. They are leather. All of the detailing on this bag is leather. So the keychain, these little pull tabs, the leather handle, and these handles are all leather as well as the zipper pulls and the trim here is leather. Um, all of the zipper pulls are this really nice leather as well. So here is how the front of the bag looks. Um, you just unsnap it here to access this front pocket. It's got a really pretty zipper pull on the front that is that leather with a gold bar on both sides of the bag. And the zippers on here are very smooth. You just, they open up really nicely. This zips all the way down to open the, the front up pretty much completely. And as you can see on the inside, there are two pockets that are that right here and right here on the inside of the bag. They're mesh pockets that are lined with the leather trim and have leather zipper pulls. And they're pretty roomy pockets. So it's kind of a hard angle to photograph or to record. But here it is, you can put quite a bit in there. This is a smaller swell bottle. It's like a 12 ounce size. Um, I'm not sure if it'll fit in there or not. Let's just check that out. Okay, so that actually does fit in here, um, which is a nice place you could stick a water bottle or different, you know, jewelry things that you're taking off at the gym. Um, I think it'd be a good spot for snacks for babies, um, things like that. So there's that pocket. Then on the other side, there is a pocket here as well, just identical pocket, same size, exact same layout. This is a moisture wicking material, so it will just roll off and there are vents in this bag to help the bag breathe so that your clothes that are in here are not going to like stink up the bag. Um, the other pocket that's here is just a stretchy mesh pocket. It's just a slip pocket that you can put anything in. And that is the, the layout of the front pocket here on this one. Um, it fits quite a bit outside of the pockets as well because this is a pretty good domed size opening. So that's how that looks. But the zippers on the top of the bag do have, like I said, this closing mechanism here. Um, it kind of locks your bag. It would be kind of nice if it had like holes that you could fit your, an actual lock, mostly if you're going to check your bag or something like that, it would kind of keep it safe. Um, but it just twists like that. And then you just pull it open and these are the little pull tabs for the zippers. And again, like I said, it unzips all the way down around into the bottom of the bag. So it opens up pretty much completely and has these gussets to keep it from falling all the way open. Then on the inside of the bag, in the small bag, it has this zipper compartment on the back. Uh, that's the only pocket on the back. And then it does have this little leather logo here. Um, it's the same moisture wicking material. It says Kara at the bottom and I will have to read what that says in a minute. Um, it's a pretty good sized pocket though. It goes down about here in the bag. You can see that. And it's it fits my whole hand in there without a problem. Goes right up to, if I'm putting my hand in straight, it goes to there. Um, and then on the front of the bag, it just has the one um, pocket. It's not really stretchy or elasticized like the front one, but it does have a little leather trim at the top and it's a good size pocket. Um, I think it is made to stick your gym shoes and stuff in there. So that is the internal organization of this bag. Um, again, like I said, there are some vents here. So if you see here and here, there are vents that allow the bag to breathe so that things aren't going to get like musty in there or anything if you are throwing like your gym clothes in here it kind of helps with these little breathing vents here 
Um, and I think that's a really cool touch. Uh, the backpack straps are very comfortable. They're leather on the front, and then they've got a really breathable mesh on the back. They are adjustable at the bottom with a really pretty gold hardware here. And again, they've got those gold hooks. Um, they've got nice little pull tabs that are sewn on the bottom so that you can just stick your thumb in and pull it to adjust. And they've got a little piece of leather to kind of hold on to that excess nylon. This is like a nylon seat belt material at the bottom. Now in the medium bag, um, it is pretty similar. I already showed you the outside differences. Um, it's got the same snap and handles here, same zippers, same same everything. Uh, the internal organization is just a little bit different. So again, on this front piece, you've got that pretty gold bar on both sides. It's just a really pretty embellishment. It zips down all the way to where the pocket ends. And then in this one, you can see that the layout is different. Um, again, this is a really hard pocket to show the inside of, but it's got the elasticized mesh pocket like the other one, but it also has this zipper window pocket. Um, I think this would be great to stick your ID in, or like if I'm using it as a diaper bag, it's a really good spot to keep uh, medicines or things like your children's medical IDs if you want to keep your insurance cards in there, stuff like that. So I really like that. Um, and then it does have the same two zippered pockets on the side that are mesh. Um, let me see, they might be a little bit bigger because the bag is bigger. Yeah, they are quite a bit bigger. Um, I had to kind of work to get this bottle in. The other one, again, this is just a 12 ounce bottle. Um, let me see if my 17 ounce would fit in there. This is a 17 ounce swell bottle and let's see. Yeah, a 17 ounce actually fits in this bag just fine. There's not, it's not hard to get in there or anything. Um, so that is really nice. It's got two pockets and again, they are taller. They fit the bottles a little bit better in there. So they will fit um, more in these pockets. And then on the inside of the bag, and then the zippers go all the way down and around to the very bottom of the bag, almost meeting each other. They just have this little leather tab in the middle. And then you've got the gussets here and the same air vents here in the top of the bag. Um, but this is where the bag is pretty different. Um, this one does have a laptop sleeve because it doesn't really have a laptop pocket on the outside. So it's got a nice snap closure here and a leather piece that you can house your laptop in here. You can put shoes in here. This is all a moisture resistant, like water wicking material. And then on the inside, um, you've just got, you've had that same zipper pocket in here. Um, it's about the same size. It might be a tiny bit smaller than the one in the other. And you've got the same little leather uh, patch here. Then on the front of the bag, I do really love the front of the medium bag. I kind of wish that the small bag had this same thing. So you can stick shoes in here. It's just a mesh. They're two mesh pockets and they are bungee. So you can tighten the top to your needs. Um, why I really like that is because you can stick water bottles in here uh, without any issue. Or so, because I'm using this as a diaper bag, I can put baby bottles, sippies, um, anything that I need to put in there to hold it out of the way or just putting two pouches or whatever I need to organize. I do like that it is two separate pockets and I really like these bungee cords to hold the stuff in. So I think that that's a really nice touch on this bag. And then again, everything else is the same as far as layout. Um, just it's a little bit bigger. So those are the differences in both of these bags. I hope it was helpful for you, especially if you've been trying to figure out which one to get. Um, I will do an on the body shot. I'm five foot two and about 125 pounds. So you can kind of see how they look on someone my size.